So to explore this further, let's make some simplifying assumptions. If we assume that ue is a constant, that u is 0 at t equals 0, basically we're starting from rest, if we neglect the drag and consider the case of vertical flight, then we can simplify this a lot and get that du is minus ue dmv over mv minus g dt. And if we integrate that, we get that the final velocity is minus ev times the natural logarithm of mv over mv naught, which is the vast vehicle at the initial time, minus g times the amount of time that's passed. So if we, re we can rewrite this using the specific impulse as follows, g times the specific impulse times natural logarithm of m v naught over m v minus c. So this velocity is our key performance parameter. The impulse gives us a measure of the efficiency of the propulsion system, and this ratio has to do with the structural design and the payload capacity. So m v is essentially the structure and payload mass, and mv naught is that plus the propellant mass. Now if we keep on our train of simplifications, and we assume that the mass flow rate is constant, then the vehicle mass flow rate is a function of time at mv not minus mv not minus mv final times t over tb, where tb is the time at which all the propellant is used up, and the b stands for burnout. Putting this equation into the expression for velocity here, and integrating gives the height at the end of the burn. So the height at burnout is the integral from zero to the burnout time of the UDT for our vertical flight rocket. We aren't going to talk about staging in this course, so we'll consider only a single stage rocket with no drag and constant gravitational acceleration. The result is that the height at burnout is the gravitational acceleration times a large complicated expression. <laughs> All over mv not over mv final minus one plus tb i minus one half tb squared. But this isn't the final height that the rocket will reach because though it's used up all its propellant once it reaches that height, the rocket still has kinetic energy and is moving upwards. So, g times the max height minus the burnout height is just the kinetic energy of the rocket at burnout. 